good stories anymore. No bank robberies, hero cops, gangster activity, nothing. The world peace come already. Now why would you say something like that? The world is happy and calm and you should be too. Now go get your jacket on. Work starts soon. <sighs> How do I look? Oh, stunning. Now have a nice day and stay out of trouble. Oh. We don't want you getting another bump on the head. Sorry. Oh, nothing. Now get, 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 get. Bye. Another day, another dollar, right? Tails. Crap. I just say my lucky day. Hey, you forgot your keys. Oh, thanks to you, I almost forgot. What would you do without me? Absolutely not. Exactly my point. Bye, dear. I love you. You too. I need you to hear me, and hear me now before it's too late. You need to wake up. You are in a coma. Please. You must understand. You need to wake up now. You are in a coma and in a lot of trouble. So please, wake up. 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 Do you hear me? Your life is in danger. Terrible. Terrible danger. I can't get through to you. I don't understand. Why must we wake him up so urgently? It's not like he's in any real danger, is he? Yes. He's in a worst possible position a man could be in. Why? I don't think sleeping possibly forever is the worst thing to ever happen to a man. What? You don't think an army of gangsters hunting you down while you're in a coma is? Dr. Fisher, what do you mean? The reason why Marty is in this coma is due to him seeing something he shouldn't have. I don't understand. Marty's interning for a desk job out of the city. Marty was working with his supervisor when it happened. From what we know, his supervisor had sent Marty to get something from the storeroom. Just drop him go. All right, all right, all right. Everything went downhill from there. Marty the Fool got into a case of wrong place at the wrong time and stumbled upon the big bad of this story. give out a couple of bags of cocaine to a few bums out on the street. Huh? Who's there? What a sore loser. He paid the price. Jesse isn't the type of girl to let anyone go easily. We need that kid dead within the hour. You hear me? What did they do to him? Ran their car right into him. The driver and the person in the passenger seat were his parents. They are dead now because of him. Lying in a mall a few rooms down. Oh my. And do you think these gangsters are going to come back and finish the job? I know it. The police called this morning. They were hit by a wave of criminals and they got hold of the records. They know where Marty is. Well then we've got to go. Right now. No. The police want him alive and awake. So what are we going to do? You're going to grab your stuff and leave. I'm going to wake this boy up if it's the last thing I do. No, not alone. No one should ever be alone in a situation like this. Thank you, Kenny. Hey, it's not right there. Do I know you? Hey, stop! Who are you? Marty, 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 wake up. Marty, you have to wake up. Alright, 
that's enough of that. No, stop! No, get your mitts off me! We may be in terrible danger, Dr. Fisher, but I will not stand for such horrible treatment of a child. Remember what you said earlier? You just stepped over that line. Yes, Miss Caddy, you're, you're correct. I'm sorry, I'm just exhausted. It's, it's okay. We'll get through this. Fine, Nurse Caddy. Let's continue, shall we? It's Juliet, Ken, actually. I'm not paying you to be called by your first name. Very well, Dr. Fisher. Honey, I'm home. What's wrong? Sound down. Uh, it's nothing, dear. It sure doesn't sound like it. And welcome back to MRTY TV. On to next, these all new wake up pills. There's nothing ever on television. Come on, I know something's wrong. Honestly, honey, I'm just a little riled up, is all. I'm gonna go inside, alright? Of course. But don't forget, dinner's at six. And don't fall asleep. Alright. Never know what really happened on December 9th, 1912. This is C-U-P-E, case unfit for public eye. Marty, Marty, you have to... Wake up. Wake up, Marty. Cigar in his mouth, a bottle of booze sits dangerously close to the edge of the desk. What are you doing? You're taking water into the house. Oh, sorry, honey. I have to fix something. Marty! Marty, the people who put you in this coma are here right now. You must get up right now. Do you hear me? When you wake up, there's gonna be a lot of random bruises across your back from me dragging you across the floor. You guys have to get out of here. They're making their way through the building. The guards won't hold them off for long. You have to get out of here. Okay, get out of here, dear. But you agreed that I could I say said get out of here now. Alright, you thorn on my side. One last time. Come on, wake up. Marty, do you hear me? Wake up! What's wrong? Did you break your radio? Sarah, I need to ask you some questions and you need to answer them completely and now honestly. Um, okay, fine, shoot. How old am I? Sarah, how old am I? You are currently four... 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 Uh, no, 16 years of age. How does a 16-year-old have a full-time job? How does a 16-year-old have a wife a house, expensive clothes, and devices. Is our love for each other even real? Of course, Marty. Why else would I have spent all this time with you? Oh yeah, oh, yeah that's another question. What time is it? What time period are we in? Well, let's make it easier. What year? Oh. 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 This is impossible. This can't be happening! Okay, buddy, time to get out of here. There he is! What's happening?
I get it. This is all in my head. I'm sorry, Marty, but you have to wake up now. You have to face your problems. I understand. Uh, oh, oh, what's happening? You're not awake. Am, am I dead? Don't worry. We're safe in here. It's cold. Here. Take this. Thanks. Oh, what on earth did I sleep through? You have a bounty on your head. Every bum in the street is after you. What about my parents? Are they alright? They're dead now. Because of what you saw. It's okay. I don't think they felt a thing. I'm sorry. Hey, Marty. Garfield? Sorry it has to be this way, Marty. You should know, I'm Jesse's right hand man. I do all the dirty work. No real choice in the matter. Sorry. That does mean, however, I was the guy that rammed your car. Sorry about your parents. They seem like nice people. I'm going to kill you, Garfield. Nice and slow. Too bad you're about to go out with a bang. After the police came, I told them everything I knew. With enough evidence to lock Jessie up for good, they came straight to her. Jessie Correa, freeze! You have the right to remain silent. Put your hands above your head. Anything you say will be used against you in court. I was a local hero. And to think, I slept through most of it. Yeah, slept. the nurse. She looks familiar. There's no one there. 